What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, something took place that I had to discuss that I didn't like. And that's former two-division world champion, or two-division world champion, superstar boxer, Olympian, Demetrius Boo Boo Andre suffered the first loss in his career, which was a devastating loss. He got knocked out in the sixth round of the biggest fight, the first marquee fight of his career as he took on the Mexican Ecuadorian monster, undefeated two-time WBC super middleweight world champion, superstar boxer, David Benavidez, who is now 28 wins, no loss and no draw, 24 big wins by way of knockout, 26 years of age, six feet tall, six foot two with a 75 inch arm reach. Demetrius Andre is now 32 wins, one loss, no draw, 19 wins by way of knockout, 35 years of age, six feet tall with a 74 inch arm reach. And he is 35 years of age. Demetrius Andre in the first round, first two rounds, Demetrius Andre looked like he was going to outbox him. I personally picked Demetrius Andre, you guys know that, to win this fight. I felt like he was going to get knocked down in the fight. I thought he was going to knock David Benavidez down. And then I thought he was going to win a split decision, a very close fight. Well, once again, I was wrong, right? Demetrius Andre... After the sec first, second round, David Benavidez imposed his will, pressured Demetrius Andre, cut the ring off, was extremely active as he normally is, was landing lead right hands, mixing it up with his jab, and started peppering Andre going to the body, combinations, was very patient, and showed a lot of skills. Andre got stopped. This was his second fight at 168. He fought DeMar Nicholson at 168 in January of this year in activity. And so Demetrius Andre could not just accept the loss. And so afterwards, Demetrius Andre says it was the inactivity it was the fact that he's been frozen out and he dared to be great and David Benavidez was just simply too big but he don't want to say he was the better man I can't say he's the better fighter he's just the bigger fighter I'm more skilled than he is but he's the bigger fighter size played a part yes <clears throat> Daring to be great? No. Demetrius Andre is six feet tall with a 74 inch arm reach. And he weighed, he, he looked more solid and filled out than David Benavidez. Now, maybe he should be campaigning at 160. Who knows? But to say the size was the difference, no. I will not allow, like my famous, one of my favorite characters, Achilles! Like Achilles always says. Achilles says that... This is what Achilles says. He says that... I will not let that rock take my glory. Remember when Achilles was fighting against Hector? Right? And he was famously calling out, Hector! Remember he was doing that? And Hector came out in the movie Troy, if you haven't seen it. And they started fighting... Finally, we got it. The anticipation fighting Achilles and Hector and Hector tripped and he hurt his ankle and Achilles pointed at him and said, get up. I will not let that rock take my glory. That's what I will not allow. I will not allow these excuses to take the glory away from David Benavidez. And I picked Demetrius Bubu Andre to win this fight, but I will not let that rock take this glory from David Benavidez. I will not. His size played a part in maybe absorbing Demetrius Andre's punches. 
Size wasn't the reason why he won this fight. Skills was. And I picked David Benavidez to lose this fight based off of this high skill set and the slick southpaw talent that Demetrius Andre has. So I studied that David Benavidez lacks slow feet. Uh, David Benavidez lacks defense. And he proved me wrong and he proved Demetrius Andre wrong and the world wrong. His lead right hand all night, the way he fainted with the jab, fainted with uppercuts, and led, landed that lead right hand the entire night had nothing to do with his size. The way he cut off the ring strategically with Demetrius Bubu Andre had nothing to do with his size. That was his ring IQ. That was his skill set. How he cut off the ring on Demetrius Andre. Yes, it's hard to stay away from David Benavidez because he's so rangy. He's so tall and rangy. But his size and your lack of activity is on you. Who forced Demetrius Andre to stay inactive from January of this year? You should have came out and forced them to have to give you another fight before you had this Benavidez fight. Period. David Benavidez, the last time he fought was just two months after Andre, where he fought against Caleb Plant in March. And Andre fought once last year. David Benavidez only fought once last year. So why are we saying that he was inactive? He, they both was inactive. He's younger than you. Period. Is he bigger? Yes. But for you to say you're more skilled than a better fighter and the ring rust, the act, inactivity, and that you was daring to be great, no, I cannot let you do that. I simply cannot let Demetrius Bubu Andre do that. No. David Benavidez showed his skills. He showed his talent. He showed that his ring IQ is better than what people give him credit for. He showed that he's strategically better than what people give him credit for. And that in the Caleb Plant fight, he was just fighting angry. He was fighting angry against Caleb Plant. In this fight, he wasn't angry. And you can see the skill set. He was cutting the ring off. He was sharp. He wasn't wasting punches. Okay? Andre had a lot of moments going to the body, coming up top. No. The mental and physical pressure that he puts on you, similar to that of Canelo Alvarez. David Benavidez puts similar pressure on you, like Canelo Alvarez, and Canelo Alvarez is five foot eight with a 70 inch arm each. Size didn't matter. It was the talent. He cut the ring off strategically. He led with that lead right hand all night, and you had no answer for it. Demetrius Boo Boo Andre had zero answer for. David Benavidez, lead right hand. And a right, a straight right is a southpaw's kryptonite. David Benavidez studied Demetrius Andre, just like Demetrius Andre studied David Benavidez, but he missed something that I missed. Is that David Benavidez is more crafty, more skilled, and more elusive, and more and better defense than we anticipated. Like Andre said, he was going to turn him and, 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 and make him miss and be elusive. You did that. You couldn't keep it up because he was strategically cutting you off and making you fight. And he was able to absorb your punches. His defense was tighter than you gave him credit for. And then once he came out that shell, he started leading with the lead right hand. Bang! Instead of going back to the jab. You, anticip you anticipated and expected him to use the jab coming out that shell that he used. He came out the shell with the lead right hand. Bang! And was leaning Andre back. And then... He would faint the straight right hand and, and throw a hook. Bang! And that's what dropped you. That had nothing to do with his size. We have to chill with the excuses. You lost. Benavidez was better than any people, anybody, including myself, anticipated. I knew he was great, but I thought that your style, Andre's style, being a southpaw slick with power and elusive would be a problem for Benavidez, and it proved not to be. He solved the puzzle. And let's give that man his credit for solving the puzzle. 
Jose Benavidez Sr. was well prepared and well equipped. And that's just the, the facts of the matter. There is no excuses. In activity, he fought in March. You fought in January. He fought once last year. You fought once last year. Period. No, he's a straight dog. He and all we 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 when we when we think about David Benavidez, we think action. We don't think about David Benavidez being a crafty fighter. And that's our fault, our bag. And I'm going to give David Benavidez his roses. I will not let that rock take that man glory. You will not make these excuses and tell the world that you a better skilled fighter. Because if you was, you would have won the fight. Point blanket, period. No, he's the better skilled fighter. He's more crafty at what he does. You had no answer for his, you made no adjustment and had no answer for his lead right hand, period. He landed that all night. You wasn't getting out the way of it. That had nothing to do with his size. His arm reach is long. You couldn't get underneath it, period. End of discussion. And this is something we've seen other fighters do to Demetrius Andre. They're just not skilled enough, hence skilled enough or talented enough to keep it up in the stretch run. So, no, David Benavidez dominated, no excuses. Point blanket, period. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. So all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.